Hello! In this tutorial, I'll explain how to calculate profit, contribution margin, and break-even points. These calculations are important for running a business and are taught in the Principles of Marketing course. Let's start with profit. An easy formula for profit is total revenue minus total cost. On the surface, this looks simple, but what is total revenue? And how do you calculate total cost? So we need to look at these two terms a little more closely. Let's start with total revenue. This is calculated by taking price times the quantity sold. Let's say we sell our product at a unit price of $20. Let's use P for price. So P is equal to $20. And let's say we sell 500,000 units. So Q, quantity sold, is 500,000. To calculate total revenue, we multiply P, price, times Q, quantity. So 20 times 500,000 is a total revenue of $10 million. So far, so good? But total revenue is not profit. Profit is total revenue minus total costs. We have to subtract our total cost to get our profit. So that brings us to total cost. How do we calculate total cost? Total cost is made up of fixed cost plus variable cost. So total cost is fixed cost. Let's use FC for fixed costs plus variable cost per unit. Let's use UVC for unit variable cost. That is the cost that varies per unit produced. So to be clear, fixed costs are the costs associated with doing business before you even produce one unit of product. It could be rent, utilities, taxes, insurance, machinery, any costs associated with doing business. Variable costs vary according to how many units are produced. This can include materials to make the product, direct labor costs, and other resources needed for each item produced. Now that we've defined total revenue and total cost, we're ready to calculate profit. Remember, we define profit as total revenue minus total cost. And remember that total revenue is price times quantity sold. And total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. To get variable cost, we need to multiply the unit variable cost by the quantity sold. This will give us our total variable cost. So profit, therefore, is P times Q price times quantity, which is total revenue minus fixed cost plus variable costs, keeping in mind that variable cost is the unit variable cost times Q, the quantity sold. Let's see how this would work using an example. Say fixed costs are $40,000 and unit variable cost, UVC, is $10 per unit produced. The selling price, P, of each unit is $20. Now suppose we sell 500,000 units. That's Q, the quantity sold. How do we calculate profit? To begin, let's calculate total revenue. Total revenue is P times Q, the selling price times the quantity sold. So total revenue for this example is $10 million. Now for total cost. Total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. So that is $40,000 plus unit variable cost times quantity sold. That would be $40,000 plus the unit variable cost is $10 each times the quantity sold is $500,000. So the variable cost is $5 million. Now we can compute the total cost as fixed cost plus variable cost. That's fixed cost of $40,000 plus the variable cost of $5 million, giving us a total cost of $5,040,000. Now that we have total revenue and total cost, we can compute our profit. That is $10 million of total revenue 
minus $5,040,000 of total cost, which gives us a profit of $4,960,000. If you followed along with this example and did the calculations along with me, then you'll realize that there are many different ways of arriving at the same answer. So let's take a look at a few different formulas for calculating profit. Each will give you the same answer, but depending on what information you have, you might want to use one over the other. The first is the one we first looked at. Profit is total revenue minus total cost. Another way of writing this is profit is price times quantity, P times Q, minus, in parentheses, fixed cost plus unit variable cost, UVC, times Q quantity. We already saw how this formula works. One more variation of this formula is profit equals quantity sold, Q, times, in parentheses, P minus UVC, that's the price minus the unit variable cost, close parentheses, minus fixed cost. Let's see how this would work with our example. Profit is equal to Q is 500,000 times in parentheses P $20 minus UVC unit variable cost of $10 close parentheses then minus fixed cost of $40,000. That gives us 500,000 times 10, right? 20 minus 10 is 10 minus 40,000. So we have 5 million minus 40,000, and that is 4,960,000, same as we calculated before. So you can see that we can calculate profit in a few different ways, but it's always total revenue minus total costs, always. This is a bit simplistic because in the real world, the price you charge often affects the quantity sold, especially when demand is elastic. But that's another formula for perhaps another video. Because the quantity sold can affect costs, usually the per unit cost is less the more you produce, so the price indirectly affects the costs. This is not taken into account in these formulas, but it is something a marketing executive has to think about when determining the selling price. Let's move on to something called contribution margin. This is calculated as the difference between the unit selling price and the unit variable cost. So for our example, the contribution margin would be $20 minus $10. So the contribution margin is $10. Now let's take a look at break even formulas. This is the point where total revenue equals total cost. So you're not making any profit. Your profit is zero. You're not making any profit, but you're not losing money either. This is the break-even point. Let's see how to calculate the break-even point for quantity. That is the number of units we have to sell to break even. The formula for the break-even quantity is fixed costs divided by the contribution margin. That's it. So back to our example, fixed cost divided by contribution margin would be 40,000 divided by 10, which is 4,000 units. So we would need to sell 4,000 units just to break even. Units sold after that point should produce a profit. We can also compute the break even point in dollar sales by multiplying the break even quantity times the unit selling price. For our example, that would be 4,000 units times $20 or $80,000. So when we have sold $80,000 worth of goods, we are breaking even. You might also want to calculate a target quantity for a specified profit. To calculate a target quantity, we can take the fixed cost plus the desired profit in the numerator divided by the contribution margin. That is the unit selling price minus the unit variable cost. For our example, let's say our desired profit is $100,000. Then we would have in the numerator 40,000 plus 100,000, that is the fixed cost plus the desired profit, divided by 20 minus 10, the unit selling price minus the unit variable cost, Remember, we call that the contribution margin. So we have 140,000 divided by 10, 
which is 14,000. That means we have to sell 14,000 units to achieve a desired profit of $100,000. I hope that this tutorial helps take some of the mystery out of marketing math and I hope you learned something. Bye!